Hello YouTube, Simon here, welcome back to the channel and I'm going to be bringing you a very quick tutorial on installing and setting up the 7th Heaven Mod Manager 2.0. So this is a fantastic update to the Mod, Mod Manager program and if you've never got into Final Fantasy 7 modding before because you've been put off by the quite in-depth processes of how you need to get the game prepared in order to handle mods, then this is really for you because the, the new program, the update to the program 2.0 is so incredible that it literally does everything for you behind the scenes all you have to do is get the game installed get the mod manager itself installed and you are good to go it is literally that simple if you don't believe me uh, just check this out but i'm going to keep things basic here the vast majority of you that are watching you'll be able to follow this and get set up no problem but if you want to get into more intricate detail about seventh heaven 2.0 then i strongly recommend that you check out sooner mods's tutorial video it's about 40 minutes long but he really does go over the entire program in detail it is a good video i'll leave a link to it in the video description um, but as i say you should just be able to follow along with me for the next few minutes and get up and running at least now if you're following this process and you already have the original seventh heaven mod manager installed 1.0 you've converted your game you've run the fake iso uh, and all of that stuff that you no longer need to do with this new process then rest assured you don't need to uninstall any of that stuff the new mod manager will detect it all and get you up and running again it's an incredible update it will literally do all the hard work for you but for the sake of this video i'm going to assume that you're not coming in from that uh, old version of the program and that you're just starting afresh so what i've done is gone ahead and completely removed final fantasy 7 from the pc and done a fresh install so this is a fresh steam install of the game here i've just gone ahead completed that install uh, so i could click play and it's just the standard steam version of final fantasy 7 without any mods whatsoever so the next thing we're going to do is make sure we download 7th heaven 2.0 i'll leave a link to this in the video description um, i'm not going to show you how to do this it's very self-explanatory just go to the download link here click that and you'll get the program downloaded and there's all the credits by the way for those that have um you know assisted and, and actually built the program itself so i've had no involvement whatsoever i'll point this out in the creation or development of seventh heaven 2.0 i'm literally just a fan somebody that loves using uh, the seventh heaven software i have done for a long time and i just want as many people as possible to know about it so that they can get in the awesome world of final fantasy 7 modding so this is the download file now it is an exe file previously the old version was a zip file that you would extract and then have to set up manually but again the whole process has been streamlined here so we'll go ahead we'll have to run this as an administrator uh so click more info run anyway okay that won't come up on the recording there so that's just where you might have to put a password in if you've got that set up as part of the administrative privileges right so we'll just install the software and you can install this absolutely anywhere it makes no difference i'll just keep it on the c drive just bear in mind that you are going to be installing mods and stuff as well so this is just the first part of the process uh, i don't want to start menu folder okay and once the install is complete we'll get the option of launching seventh heaven immediately one thing that you'll notice straight away coming from the old version is you get this nifty new icon here but not only that any mod files you download outside of the program outside of the software say from nexus mods or wherever else as long as they are the iro files then they will automatically be detected by the seventh heaven software and they will too have this same icon you can literally double click on those and bring them straight into the mod manager it's so simple it really is it's such a big improvement so we'll select finish here now don't be scared by this general settings window that pops up when you first open the software um, unless you've done something strange with your computer such as uh, got multiple copies of final fantasy 7 on there whatever you're probably not going to need to do anything here so as you saw this was a fresh install of both the game and of the mod manager itself and seventh heaven 2.0 has detected everything that we're going to need here it's detected all of the paths that are required so this is where i've got final fantasy 7 installed it's detected that automatically and that's not even in the default folder either i've actually set up a new steam library uh, for a previous tutorial and it's detected that for us so very very good you can fiddle about with some of these settings if you want to the only one that i might recommend that you turn off is the activate newly installed mods automatically um, i'm going to leave it on but you might want to turn that off if when you install the mod from the mod manager uh, you don't want it activated immediately maybe you want to download a few at once and then test them one at a time you might not want the default uh, for them to be turned on you might want it to be turned off so i'll leave that up to you but everything else you can probably just leave as it is here 
And that's it. It's as simple as that, guys. We are literally now ready to go. If I click play up here, we are going to launch Final Fantasy VII. It's as simple as that. And it's going to do all of that back-end stuff that we used to have to set up manually with 7th Heaven 1.0 automatically. Look at that. We've now got a version of Final Fantasy VII that is ready to be modded. Uh, there are no mods installed at the moment, of course. We haven't installed any. But the game itself is good to go. It's working perfect. So I've got no save files, so we'll need to set those up. Um, I've got the save file back up here. So we'll just paste that into the Final Fantasy VII folder. Yep, they're all in place. Perfect. Now, you are, of course, going to want to start setting up some mods. So what we're going to do is go over to Browse Catalog. And you can see there's a whole collection of mods. That's because some subscription links have already been brought in automatically. That's part of the um, Seventh Heaven 2.0 install process. Again, very, very simple. We don't even have to do our own subscription links anymore. If you have any other mods that have subscription links that you want to bring in, then I'll explain how you can do that a little bit later. But again, for the majority of you, I'm just trying to keep this very, very simple if we can. So the first thing we're going to do, and uh, this is what... Uh, Sooner Mods recommended is installing the World Textures mod, and that's because we can get a good example as to how things change very, very quickly here. So the World Textures mod uh, is at the bottom of the Browse Catalog list. Now, just to confirm, when you're on Browse Catalog, this isn't the mods that are installed on your PC. This is the mods that are on the mod server from the subscription link, and you can then choose to download them. The mods that are installed are under the My Mods selection. So as you can see, we haven't got any right now. Now, in order to download a mod, all we need to do is double click on it. It's that simple. So for the World Textures mod, we're just going to go ahead and double click. And that will just take a minute or two. I have terrible internet here, unfortunately. So 1.7 megabytes um, is actually kind of normal. Oh, 2.8. And once the mod's installed, it will go over to the My Mods section, the My Mods tab there. I'm going to deactivate it first of all. And we're just going to remind ourselves how it is that Final Fantasy VII looks without any mods. Um, in this case, the world map section, because that's what we're modding first of all. So there we have it, the standard low resolution world map from Final Fantasy VII. Now what we're going to do is activate the mod. So very, very simple there to activate and deactivate. And we can actually change some settings. And you can do this for any mod that has settings that can be changed by double clicking on it. And then the settings that the author has included uh, will be available from this window. So for the purposes of this mod, the settings are very simple. There are actually three different mods we could choose to use here. So let's go ahead now that that's activated, select play. And once we get through to the save game here, the same one. There we go. Look at that, some beautiful uh, high resolution textures there for the world map. That's absolutely stunning. And you get the new world map itself as well, uh, which is really nice to see. So let's just have a, have a bit of a pan around there. So all of the world map textures have now been updated, which is pretty darn cool. And if we bring the world map up to its larger size, you can see that's also received a brand new update as well. And that's just one mod. That's just a mod that updates the world map textures. So, so easy to use. Okay, so before we go through any further mods, I'm just going to very briefly go over some options for you here. And the only thing I'm really going to concern myself with this video is the fact that the game is appearing in this small window. We want to get things enlarged. So it's very, very simple. All you need to do is go to settings there, select uh, the game driver, and there we can change the actual settings for the various resolutions and stuff. So you can select full screen if you want. Uh, just because I'm recording this and it seems to work better just in windowed, I'm going to keep it in that mode. But by all means, select this to full screen if you wish to do so. I'm going to change this to stretch to fill and we'll change the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Click save. And now when we select play, it should, yep, fill the screen up. There we have it. Now, one of the problems that you may have experienced in the previous Seventh Heaven Mod Manager is that once you've fiddled about with some of the settings and opened the game, the game is actually too big for your monitor and all of these logos and the game itself is kind of running off the screen. Uh, it's possible that that ever may still be present. It wasn't for me, as you can see, but if that is the case, all you need to do is go to Settings, Game Launcher, and then make sure you select the high DPI scaling fix here. So push that to on. 
Okay, I don't need to. It hasn't brought that error for me. But if it does do that, if everything's going off the screen or if a lot of the, the image is not on the screen as you expect it to be, then uh, you'll just need to select that there and that should fix it for you. So that's it then, guys. That's the end of the tutorial. It is literally that simple. Um, again, if you want to go ahead and check things out in far more detail or if you have any troubleshooting issues, I would point you to Sooner Mods' tutorial video. Again, I'll link that in the description. Um, he does go into a lot more detail than I have, but for the majority of you, that should be sufficient to get you up and running. Just before we go ahead and get some more mods activated, I just want to point out that on the 7th Heaven 2.0, uh, mod manager web page you can actually uh, donate to the project if you just want to express some thanks and modding final fantasy 7 is such a fun thing to do and it just wouldn't be possible without these guys so i'm going to go ahead and support them here and then we'll crack on with the mods right so i've set up quite a few mods here now now much of these are running just with their default settings so i'm not too sure exactly what to expect one thing i have changed is character models to the Nino style. I actually really like the Nino style myself. I know it's personal preference and there's plenty of options for you guys to choose from. But the Nino style for the character mods uh, tends, I find, to keep the original proportions of the original character models, which is always a big deal because when you start trying to create more realistic um, looking character models, and there are mods that do that and some people love them, they just tend to look a little bit unproportioned compared to the environment, which is made for those cheapy uh, style models. So that's why I like the Nino style mods myself. But you can see that the whole interface has received an update and I've installed some of these avatar mods as well, which look absolutely fantastic. So let's load up our trusty save file here of the icicle area. And there we have it. So you can see that Cloud's got a nice new field model. Uh, and so has Tifa or Sid, depending on which part of the game you're currently playing through. The high wind is looking pretty darn good. It's got to be said, very shiny, as you can see there. So all the animations are still wonderfully smooth. But the world map textures as well look absolutely phenomenal. They really, really do. So I'm just thinking uh, what we can go and explore to really test out some of the uh, new fields. Oh, I haven't actually downloaded field mods uh, right now. It's one thing I haven't done because it's 7.6 gigabytes and my internet sucks. It really does. Uh, so let's just go ahead and encounter a random enemy on the world map. And we can see how the character models on the uh, battle screen have changed. Now you can see I'm using those Nino style ones that I told you about. Uh, because they keep their proportions, in my opinion, it just looks absolutely phenomenal. It really does. Uh, but also the animations have changed. So let's go ahead and aqualung this poor lone wolf here. And we get that beautiful, uh, highly upscaled Aqualung spell attack. And that was literally just a random spell I chose. Pretty much all the spells in the game have been updated using the spell textures mod that I've installed. And there we have it then, guys. You can literally have a play about now and get the mods to exactly how you like them. It's not just graphical mods you can use with the 7th Heaven Mod Manager 2.0. You can update your gameplay mods. So if you want to install the new Threat 1.4 or 1.5 mod, which is a fantastic gameplay mod, the ultimate gameplay mod, many would say. Then you can also do that from the Mod Manager as well. You can update the musical soundtrack if you want to have... Uh, you know, higher fidelity musical tracks and there's mods for that. I can't do that unfortunately because a lot of those trigger copyright warnings on YouTube. So for the purpose of the video, I'm going to leave things how they are. But yeah, just have a play about and see what you can, you know, change around to, to get to how you like it yourself. But I've got to say, this looks incredible. It really does. And I just love Final Fantasy VII modding. It's just one of those things that's always appealed to me. I think because I've enjoyed playing the game for so many years. So we'll close the game, and I hope you guys enjoy modding Final Fantasy VII and on the mod manager itself. So this is 7th Heaven 2.0. Thanks for stopping by checking out the video today, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.